Hello, hello, ladies. So now we're talking about not expecting high effort from men and invest, you know, investments towards you from men if you don't invest in yourself and don't show yourself how effort. But it also means that we are going to focus on you be you being able to receive this high effort and that also means treating yourself great okay often 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 um women you know always safe never spend a dime on themselves yeah and then um kind of like want the man to pay everything and invest them down and so on and so on but you must know that all we attract is what we are a vibrational match of and this one guy isn't the source of you um, investments yeah so if you don't invest in yourself then it's literally not possible to receive this investment from a man and let me give you an example from my own private life. And um, I already knew about those concepts, okay? Um, back then, um, I just wasn't very financially overflowing, okay? Let's say I had uh, the income that I needed, but I wasn't in overflowing financial freedom yet. So um, since I was, you know, I was investing in myself, but only like the bare minimum and I wasn't overflowing money. So I wasn't buying overflowing luxury stuff for me. And then I, uh, I just was on this date and this guy wanted to buy me clothing for multiple uh, thousand euro. And I was like, no, no, no way. I don't want it. Like it's, it's okay. I don't want to buy this uh, for me. Why did I say that? I literally sabotaged a great gift of nice clothing. Um, yeah, he wanted to order them online with me. And I was like, why did I sabotage that? I sabotaged that because I wasn't used to receiving um, this kind of luxury. I wasn't used to receiving things that I don't need for my survival, that I don't necessarily need um, for my mental growth, okay? So I wasn't used to that. And that's why I couldn't receive his overflowing gift because in my brain, in my subconscious, um, all the thoughts and limiting beliefs popped up and they were saying, no, such a waste of money. Oh my God, this is my monthly income back then, you know? How can I spend it on clothing? I'm just working the whole month and now in one second, we're gonna spend it on clothing? Yeah, so like then I just wasn't at this point to receive that. And what I would try to say with this example is that if you start investing in yourself and you start treating yourself awesome, you invest in your personal growth, you invest in coaching, you invest um, in your clothes, your own, you always have feminine and masculine side within you. So your own masculine energy works. Um, you know, you have a job, you do this and this, and then you invest in yourself. You buy yourself whatever you desire. At this moment, you open up to be worthy of that, okay? And um, then the next step is just to be able to receive with ease, yeah? Without working hard on that. So... Of course, I am always supporting this idea of being provided for from men and being uh, supported and not having to work. However, at first place, you take care of yourself always. Yeah, in the first place, you are treat. You have to treat yourself good. You have to provide for yourself. You have to be there for yourself. Okay. And this makes you independent in a relationship, even if you receive from the man, you can just see it as him being just a reflection of your own self-treatment. So let's say you have this feminine side within yourself and you have this masculine side within yourself, and then your masculine side treats yourself so good and you buy yourself flowers, 
guess who bought me this flower? I bought myself this flower. Okay, so you buy yourself flowers, you treat you amazing, and then you enter a relationship where the masculine and feminine energy exists, where the polarity exists, and you kind of like, yeah, okay, my masculine side can take a break, but this guy has to treat me at least the same good. So he has to buy me flowers, he has to take care of me, he has to cherish my feelings, because if he doesn't, I have a better option, and that's me and myself and I. So that's kind of also the concept of circular dating, that you have other options of people and men that treat you well, but the biggest option and the biggest person in this um, circular dating pool is yourself. So you have to be treating you good. You have to respect your own boundaries, cherish your feelings. And then literally the men align, they really do. You have no idea such awful behavior I have attracted before. And now it just doesn't happen. Now, when I'm on a date and a guy, um, let's say he doesn't pay on um, like something little, I can't even, um, I can't even, you know, speak up, but he can just read my energy and then he kind of like stops it and disappears and all self-correct himself. So um, what I want to say with that is we all attract how we treat ourselves. So when your standard is high, you will not attract bad treatment. You will only attract good treatment and the other man literally will run. Okay, so this way, your only job is right now to love yourself and surround yourself with loving people. And this is how you're up level, okay? And sometimes women also have an issue to get out of painful relationships so let go of that set boundaries and to up level themselves. So if you want to move forward faster, then reach out to me. Um, yeah, so reach out to me for a free love assessment call as long as I'm offering them. Again, I will be at some point just doing courses and programs and I no longer offer one-on-one -on -one calls for free, just paid ones. So take advantage of that and I'm sure I'm going to help you. So if you liked this video, if it was helpful, then uh, share with me how it helped you in the comments and give it a thumbs up and um, I see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.